Turn off fast startup. Step 1. Press Windows key, type power options and hit enter. Step 2. Click additional power settings under related settings and pick, choose what the power buttons do in power options. Step 3. Select Change Settings that are currently unavailable, uncheck the Turn on Fast Startup, Recommended checkbox, and choose Save Changes. Next, click Change when the computer sleeps, pick Change Advanced Power Settings, and configure the settings based on your preference. After you finish, select Apply, choose OK, and restart your computer. Note, on occasions, it's a good idea to disable automatic restart. Step 1. Press Windows key, type View Advanced System Settings and hit Enter. Step 2. Select Settings under Startup and Recovery, uncheck the checkbox next to Automatically Restart, then choose OK. Step 3. Restart your computer. Perform SFC and DISM scans. Step 1. Press Windows key, type CMD, and hit Run as administrator. Step 2. In Command Prompt, Admin, type SFC, ScanO, and press Enter to perform the SFC scan. Step 3. Once the SFC scan concludes, run the following commands in Command Prompt, Admin, to perform the DISM scan. DISM, online, cleanup image, scan health. DISM, online, cleanup image, check health. DISM, online, cleanup image, restore health. Step 4. Proceed to type exit and press Enter to close command prompt. Step 5. Restart your computer. Update drivers. To update device drivers on Windows, press Windows key, type devmgmt.msc, and press Enter to open Device Manager. Next, right-click each of the devices, pick Update Driver, and hit Search automatically for updated driver software. The moment the update wraps up, you should restart your computer. Alternatively, you may launch your web browser, download new driver versions from the internet, and run the setups to install them. You lack the patience to update drivers on your own. In that case, it won't hurt to pick up a driver manager. Step 1. Download and install a driver manager of your choice. Driver Booster, Driver Easy, Drivers Cloud. Step 2. Launch the driver manager, hit scan, and let the process go all the way. Step 3. Depending on the manager, you could update all drivers at the same time or one by one. Check out the hardware. You recently connected new devices to the computer? Then it's wise to temporarily remove the devices and determine whether the issue persists. Aside from that, you should look for signs of issues on your hard drive, RAM sticks, PSU, and other components. While it's possible to resolve some hardware issues at home, feel free to send in your computer if you don't have skills and tools.